Welcome to the Fireside Chat for Fitness and Nutrition with Adrian and Ken. Today we're going to be talking about goal setting for both fitness and nutrition. Would you like to kick us off, Ken? I would, Adrian, yes. So when it comes to goal setting, as with much anything else, or everything else that you do with setting goals, it has to be smart. It has to be specific. It has to be measurable. It has to be achievable. It has to be realistic. And you have to have a timetable for it. So let's go over each one of those. So when you're, uh, when you're, when I say specific, the, the S part, so what is it exactly that you want to do? Do you want to be able to run a half marathon? Do you want to lose 20 pounds? Do you want to just feel better? Do you want to stop achiness and pains, you know, in your knee joint, let's just say, what is it? Be specific, put it down. And, and I really like to actually write it down on paper what my goals are on paper because you can look at it every day and it's, it's, it's not like well I, I thought i had a goal but i can't quite remember what it was but if you write it down and write it down every day right and have a fresh have a fresh set you know write it down every day okay i want to i want to lose twice i want to do and and, and that's going to be your main topic your your your, your main topic. so now have it um write it down um measurable so you're going to let's say for instance you want to lose 20 pounds and let's say for instance you want to lose well time i'll I'll, I'll, i don't want to skip to the 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 end well let's just let's just skip let's just do this uh in order here so it's measurable so you're going to take measurements is what it says so if you want to um lose 20 pounds you're going to take measurements every month and let's just say you you could break it up into specific chunks Sometimes when you say, I don't want to lose 20 pounds, it's, it's, it's too much. It's, I can't imagine losing 20 pounds. But if you were to break it down into, like, let's say, for instance, you wanted to lose two pounds a month. Just let's say, for instance, two pounds a month. Well, that's basically an ounce a day. You can do an ounce a day. It's, 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 it's not, it's, when you think of it that way, it's pretty easy. You know, break it up into little tiny bit of chunks that you can manage, that you can handle. Don't overwhelm yourself, but you want to track your progress. That's going to help you. It's going to help keep you on track. How else are you going to know if you're making, going towards your goal? Um, achievable. So let's just say, for instance, that you're 100 pounds overweight. Let's just say, let's just say that. And you want to, you want to, you want to lose. <clears throat> You want to lose 100 pounds in like two months. Well, that's not realistic. It's not achievable. It's and it's frankly it's very unhealthy for you. So you want to make sure that you're doing things in a uh, that that are achievable that you can actually do that's not harmful for you. So it has to be things that you actually can do. So make sure that it's achievable. You don't want to you don't want to you know say things that you're going to do. And then not do them and be disappointed and be depressed and, and you want you want to you want to re, you want to th- do things that are achievable so that you can reward yourself. So that's uh, that's just an example. Um, relevant. Um, well, let's just say, for instance, that um, you wanted to lose 100 pounds, and it's really good because you want the reasons are you want to feel better, you want to of course look better, you want to be in better physical health. Let's say, for instance, you had high blood pressure. Well, losing body fat in most instances, losing that weight will increase your or improve your blood pressure. That's very relevant for you. Um, let's say, for instance, someone else wanted to run a marathon. Well, that might not be for what you want to do. So that wouldn't be a goal that you would set. <clears throat> so you want to make it relevant to you, to your lifestyle, something that you can incorporate into your lifestyle. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. You know, things that are, the most rewarding things that you do are things that are going to be challenging. If you do things that are easy, everyone would do them and, and, and get, and it would be easy to do, but you want things that are more challenging. It's challenging for you, but, it, but yet yeah, achievable and uh, it's relevant to you. And then you want to do things that are time. You want to set up a timetable. So much like I, I said that, you know, I want to lose 20 pounds in like say four months. You know, that on, on whatever date you're starting off, four months from now, uh, I can lose this this much. Now, Adrian's much better at, at um, um, you know, giving you a timetable as far as, you know, if you wanted to lose weight, she would be, she would be much more inclined to 
um, to help you with that and, and, and than me. I'm more strength building, but I'm using that as an example. Uh, five pounds, would you agree, Adrian, that five pounds in a month is not over, is not too much to lose? Would you say that that's not too much to lose? I'd say it's not too much to lose. Um, yeah, so, also yeah. Really for, for males versus females. But. Yeah, 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 but still, you know, five pounds is not too much. It's, 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 it, it, maybe four pounds, you know, five pounds, you know, one and a half a pound to two pounds a week is not too much to lose. Uh, it's very, very easy to do or not, not, I shouldn't say easy. It's not easy to do, but it can be done. But, uh, if you were to set yourself up on a time limit, say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it in four months, write it down every day, write it down. And, uh, so it's in it's the foremost of your mind. It's in the forefront of your mind. And, uh, that those, um, uh, that way it will it will help you to uh, achieve it and reward yourself when you achieve a goal now i'm not saying i keep going back to the losing weight you don't want to you don't want to reward yourself with a with a pie you know when you when you lose 20 pounds you want to reward you know something else that, that you can reward yourself but give yourself a pat on the back you know go celebrate you know, and even the small victories go celebrate it's good it feels good to, to make progress you know let yourself reward yourself for making the progress and then when you're and you've achieved your goal you'll feel better you'll look better you know, if you have that blood pressure you know that's to all that stuff should go down you're you're just better for it and we're we're in this uh, related to you know the physical side of it so um i hope i didn't I hope i didn't confuse people that I, I, do you have any questions I feel like it's it's the SMART goals, which most people have had um, some sort of exposure to. And then we're just kind of going more in depth with it. And I think that's a solid foundation. So I'm just going to add things around it. <laughs> Please do. Please um, do. Yeah. I like what you said, too. Like, it's like choosing your heart. Don't make something too hard for yourself. But everything that's worth having or being or doing is worth doing well. And the easy road is what too many people take and look where that has led us, you know, think about it. A lot of people are divorced or they're overweight or they're not financially secure. So do the hard thing for your health. You know, like it's, it's easier to go through the fast food, um, check out drive through mm -hmm. than it is to make a salad, but it's also not that hard to make a salad. Choose your heart. You know? <laughs> Another thing is knowing our whys, because a lot of times we have wishes, you know, we've all done this. Oh, say, you know, New Year's, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. And it's like a wish. Mm -hmm. It's not really a goal. One of the things I like to do around this is breaking down the year into quarters. And so you might, let's just, uh, you've used weight loss. So I'll use something different. If you're trying to lose or lower your cholesterol and you say, oh, my goal is to lower my cholesterol this year. Okay, well, why don't we just pick a quarter and you might say from June until September, I'm really going to focus on this. So you set that as your goal, but you also need to know why. Why is this important to you? Is it because your doctor said, hey, if you don't do this, I'm going to put you on statins and you don't want to be on a medication. Maybe that's your reason why. Maybe it's because you know that there's a history of heart issues in your family and you want to be there for your grandchildren. That can be a very powerful why, you know? So every time that you start thinking about, oh, I could eat this high cholesterol food or do something unhealthy that would, you know, increase your cholesterol levels, you might reflect upon your why and say, I don't want to be on the medications or I want to be here for my grandchildren. And that might pull you forward towards your goal versus you trying to push yourself there. Um, so yeah, going back to the quarterly goal system, I think that this really helps a lot because it's 12 weeks of really focusing rather than just an airy fairy in the next 365 days, I'll get to it. Right. And then part of this too, is creating process goals. So you can say my goal is to lower my cholesterol from, I don't know, 240 to 190 or something like that in the next so many months. But you also need to have process goals. Like, how are you going to get there? One might be avoiding high cholesterol foods, adding in other foods that are heart healthy. Number two might be going and exercising, taking a walk, half an hour a day. I don't know, something along those lines. But you have process goals that you can easily then track and say, did I check mark, eat those foods? Or did I check mark exercise? And that's a huge part. So I'm glad that you said tracking before. Um, and then I think those are mainly yeah, choosing your heart. Yeah, those are my those are my notes to add to the foundation of smart goals. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. Questions or anything that popped into your mind as we were talking about this? No, no, no. Just uh, you know, just try to stay consistent. 
try to try to do like you always say try to do one thing every day and uh i just to kind of store your thunder there i did, did both of mine but but uh <laughs> but yeah so so you just t- try to take consistent and uh um uh, you know, write down those goals reward yourself um and uh and you, know, you can do it you can do it anybody can do it it's hard i know it i know it can be hard but uh i, I really like what you said about if the why is big enough the how will find a way the how, the how will find a way so so if the, you find a big find a big enough why and you can do any how and it'll make you excited about it versus like i should do it like oh i could really do this that, it, that could right. be a fun thing uh, another thing i forgot to mention but it kind of goes along with you know what we'd like to say at the end um uh-huh. yeah choose something every day that maybe that you can do mm-hmm. differently but also um I was talking about quarterly goals. I also like to make weekly goals. So I'll look at what did or did not happen the week before. I'm like, oh my gosh, my clients are eating more greens than I am. I got to get some more greens in. Or (laughs) I have been staying up too late. I got to really focus on my sleep. And I will just take that week and try to get back on track. I'm not waiting till the end of the year to get better sleep. (laughs) So you can start at any time and just do one thing differently to improve your health. Um, So let's see here. If you have done anything this past, well, we're already a a little bit into the year, anything that you've done differently, put that into the comments. If you find that SMART goals really help for you, or if you have a really strong why, share that with us. We would love to know if you also have other topics you'd like us to cover, put that in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And if you like the work that we're doing here on this channel, please consider supporting us through the link below. And we will see you all in the coming week. Take care. Bye. I would like to talk to you about my ebook that I have, and it's called Banish Neck Pain. And basically, it goes over six, six different protocols, basically what would be a problematic in your back, neck, even shoulders, maybe a tight chest, and then what you do to banish that, to make that go away. Let me give you an example. Let's say, for instance, that you have pain in between your shoulder blades. Well, that could be caused by a number of things, including tight chest, which I cover. You release and then stretch your chest, then release and strengthen your back muscles in between your shoulder blades. And that stretching the chest and strengthening the back will improve your posture, pull your shoulders back, which gets rid of the the problematic pain in between your shoulder blades. Now, let's say for instance, you have neck pain uh, right here. Now that's probably upper trapezius. Well, then I have protocols that are slightly different for that area of problem. So it would be an upper trapezius release, upper trapezius stretch, and then you're going to go ahead and strengthen those muscles in between your shoulder blades that pulls those shoulder blades back and get, put you into proper position so that it gets rid of that neck pain. And I also cover a shoulder. Um, uh, let's say, for instance, if you have problems uh, in the base of your neck, even in the front of your neck. Uh, and so these are all covered by my ebook. And they, it comes with accompanying videos for each segment, each stretch, each exercise, each release, so that you're, you, you do it correctly. You can, you can uh, follow along, uh, make sure that you do it right. So check it out. Adrian, what have you got? Welcome to the world of vibrant health with the One Bite Wellness Green Smoothie ebook. If you are looking to boost your energy, improve your digestion, and enhance your overall well-being, this is your ultimate guide to delicious nutrient-packed green smoothies. Now, why is this important? Well, one, it's packed with nutritional benefits. Green smoothies are powerhouses, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, all included in each one of these. Each recipe in our ebook is designed to help you have better energy levels so that you can say goodbye to the midday slumps or not need the vending machine to get you through. Our smoothies also provide sustained energy to help you keep going all day long. So you can have it breakfast, lunch, dinner, actually snacks, all great ideas. Also the improved digestion because there's a lot of fiber in smoothies. Unlike juices, which take out the fiber, you get plenty here. That helps support a healthy digestive system. It can alleviate bloating and discomfort if any of you struggle with that. And we always want to boost our immunity, right? So the vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, the smoothies can strengthen your immune system and help you fight off colds and infections. Two, 
we've made it easy for you. We have easy and delicious recipes. We have weekly smoothie um, plans and things that you're going to need for your grocery list. As you can see, that's a grocery list right there. And then also a recipe that we have. So everything is in here. You have simple instructions. You can whip up a delicious smoothie in like minutes. We also have a lot of different ingredients. So we can go tropical fruits with kale or spinach. We can also do superfoods, cacao, maca powder. All of these keep your smoothies exciting and nutritious. And they're also customizable. There are lots of different substitutions or additions so that you can customize the recipe to fit your preferences and your nutritional goals. Plus, you get expert guidance. This is created by a registered dietitian nutritionist, me. And I love helping people select good ingredients that have the most health and benefits. And then also giving you blending tips, giving you the uh, health benefits of having these smoothies and kind of laying that out for you. There's also a food diary that you can keep so that you can tra keep track of your own benefits. And then the fourth part is that you get long-term health benefits from incorporating green smoothies into your diet. And that can lead to weight management because a lot of green smoothies are low in calories, but high in nutrients. So this can be a great addition to your weight loss or weight maintenance plan. It can also promote more healthy glowing skin with all the vitamins and the minerals, the antioxidants, the fiber. And speaking of fiber, detoxification. You're also going to get that part of your digestive system, hopefully cl cleaning out toxins and supporting overall health. So by choosing the One, One Bite Wellness Green Smoothie eBook, you are investing in a healthier, more vibrant you. And don't wait to start your journey to better health. Download your copy today and experience the transformative power of green smoothies. The link is below.